The SMSL SU1 DAC has been on the market now for just around a year and I'm just going to run through three recommendations for using this DAC in your system and how to optimize it to get the best sound out of this DAC as to the inputs and output and basically it's got the usual three suspects coax optical and USB input and it uses single-ended RCA output. The main DAC chip is the AK4493S. This DAC requires a driver for Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11 and it's driverless for Mac systems. Now as I said it uses USB-C for its power input uh, so you can drive this from your laptop or a switch mode power supply but I recommend that you move to a linear power supply and I'll go into my thoughts and sound using this when I talk about the three setups that I've tried it in. So for, the, for setup one I use this with a MacBook Air which operating with Audiovana and I just plug the DAC straight into the USB input. The sound was very good. It was unfatiguing. It didn't have any noticeable digital sound. It was very smooth and spacious with good imaging and detail. And the mid-range was very good and natural sounding with the top end not overly bright. And it had very good control base performance. Now, to move on to my second setup recommendations, I'd recommend powering the DAC separately with a linear power supply and then running a USB output from your laptop via converter into a coax input into the DAC. This lifted the sound considerably. It sounded even more transparent with a deeper and wider sound stage and it was very smooth, almost analog sounding. This was a marked improvement over setup one. And finally, I tried using the SU-1 with a CD player, bypassing the CD DAC and then using the coax output of the CD player. I also used a linear power supply on the DAC whilst I was using this setup. And this was my most preferred setup. The DAC really excelled at this level. Listening was quite addictive with a truly top-notch performance and it compared with DAX many times the price. The sound was similar to setup 2 with a linear power supply on the laptop but now it had extra punch and solidity to the sound and maybe sounded a bit more dynamic. This DAC is a true bargain and has stellar performance especially used, as I suggested, with a CD player and especially using a linear power supply. And it definitely lives up to the reputation that other reviewers have found. And I would definitely recommend you purchasing this DAC, especially at the price, which is very, very cheap. Most decent DACs of this sound quality level would be knocking on, as I say, up to 500 pounds. So that's my quick overview of the SU-1 and my system and how I use it and how I got the best sound out of this DAC. Thank you very much for watching.